if someone comes to CareNZ, uh, the first thing they go through is they go through a, an exercise, which is a very brief triage, can be done on the phone or a discussion, uh, um, where we look at what would you know quickly would be the best. I mean, if people are uh, perhaps you know are coming in via the, the, the community probation and they're not really interested, et cetera, we might put them into a motivational kind of group situation with a brief assessment and a motivational group situation, as opposed to putting them through the full comprehensive assessment as, as, as such. Most of the other people though, would go into a situation where they get comprehensively assessed to have a really good look at um, what, their, what their issue is, what their immediate problems are, safety issues, all that stuff. But get a whole picture of the person and, uh, and then formulate a treatment plan of, with them of what, what, what would work best for them. The pre-entry program is kind of an introduction, if you like. I think in the old days it used to be called look and see. So it was about the client engaging, coming in, making a decision, is this what they want? We offer um, information and advice and a route into treatment for a lot of people, whatever that treat type of treatment may be. So we're often a kind of first port of call for people putting their hand up for the first time saying, I think I've got a bit of a problem here. And that's where we kind of pick things up from. This treatment program is designed for people who are still in the community. They may be working, uh, they may be bringing up children, uh, they may be on a benefit, uh, they may not be working, but they, they're, they're stable in the community, they're, they've got a place to live that they can go home to that's safe, it's not under a bridge, uh, they're, um, uh, they're, you know, they've got some sort of support system around them, they're not living in a tinny house on the corner. Uh, they're in they're in a in a place where their where their living situation is stable and their social situation is stable and supportive to the idea of them uh, undergoing a treatment of, of, of recovery. We're a um, 18, 18 week treatment centre really, so it's um, all therapeutic community, and um, that length of time is really important in the in the phases like the first phase is getting a lot of people don't know how to be in a group what it is like to be in a, in, a, in a group, around a group of people, or living with a group of people. So that first 42 days is learning how to be in, in, in the therapeutic community itself and how to work in group, how to give feedback, how to take feedback from other people. And then identifying the issues that, that, are, uh, that they're gonna need to work on. If um, you know, looking at, at rehabilitation or treatment in the addiction field, there's, there's residential, there's community or residential treatment centres that people can go to. So, so I, I imagine and describe it as a, as a, uh, a residential service or a, a treatment facility within the corrections environment, within the prison environment. So we have two programmes, we have a three month and a six months. Um, our three month programme is 24-7 and um, the guys come here and when they're at the right stage they can you know, apply for a week and leave with their, to go home with their family. And the six months is just a five day a week program. So they go home every weekend and, and come back in. So part of that one is, is them having an address in Auckland that's safe for us to transport them and for them to get themselves back to care.